This video explains how a process of symmetry forming and breaking can form a mathematical base for the evolution of life. This geometry is continuously being formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light or electromagnetic radiation at the quantum level of the atoms. Electrons in atoms can change energy levels by emitting or absorbs absorbing a photon of light whose energy must be exactly equal to the energy difference between the two levels. The frequency of light emitted is a function of how far away in energy the two states of the system were. The energy difference between the two states equals the energy carried off by the new photon. This new photon will therefore have an energy level of the golden ratio compared to the previous energy levels. The mathematics of the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence are intimately interconnected. The Fibonacci sequence can be found on every level of creation from spiral galaxies to seashells, from the rings of Saturn to the living cells. The atoms will distort the geometry of space-time, creating mathematical patterns or of fractional self-similarities of every conceivable shape. The same basic method of pattern formation, the same mechanism of symmetry breaking, governs the whole universe of organic and non-organic matter. This gives us a geometrical and therefore mathematical base for the evolution of life, explaining why nature never produces straight lines, but an endless array of curves and spirals. We have a universal dynamically evolving geometry, forming symmetry from simple dynamics. The forward momentum of electromagnetic radiation will place light-charged particles that repel becoming equally spaced along the curvature of their own created space-time. The same broken symmetry can be seen in each individual part of a plant, from the position of the leaves to the petals and seeds upon the flower head. Each new cell growth will have its own unique angle forming the curvature of space-time. This will break the spherical symmetry of electromagnetic radiation or light, forming spiral patterns. We therefore have a self-creating universe, not a created universe. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time, forming its own broken symmetry of its own evolutionary path. In this theory, the passage of time, at the most fundamental level, is continuously formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, collapsing and reforming the wave-particle duality of light, forming new photons in space and new moments in time that will have the geometry of space-time. On the level of everyday objects, the observer will see an infinite number of photon-electron couplings, creating a temporary image of the universe, moment by moment, or photon by photon. This theory will be based on the equations and mathematics that we already have, therefore energy equals mass, times the speed of light squared, because light will radiate out a sphere of electromagnetic waves from its radius, forming a square of future probability. We live in a dynamically evolving universe of continuous change because of the probabilistic nature of the wave-particle duality of light. Only if the light waves come in contact with an object will they form new photons of quantized energy that will have a unique position in space and time. If the light does not come in contact with an object, it will only have the momentum of its own wave function. The observer's future is continuously being formed by the absorption of electromagnetic radiation or light, and his past is continuously being formed by the emission of that light by the observer. Therefore the observer is always in the moment of now, forming their own space-time that will only be relative to the wavelength of the light and the position and momentum of the observer. In this theory, at the quantum level of the atoms, the moment of now is created by a single photon-electron coupling, creating a wave function of future possibilities. The forward momentum of light is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer, that she or he can participate in. In a similar way that we use sound waves to create our own music, we use light waves to create our own future space and time, formed by photons of quantized energy. Put in a more scientific way, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics 
is the same uncertainty that the observer will have with any future event. The observer can measure each new photon either as a point in space over a period of time or as an area of space at a moment in time, but not as both. This is because to know both would represent a future event for the observer within their own reference frame. The atoms of the observer bond together and then collapse the wave function in unison forming their own unique future position or reference frame in space and time. It is because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function that we have free will. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time forming its own broken symmetry of its own evolutionary path or timeline. Even the individual atoms of the observer are radiating electromagnetic radiation continuously. The observer will feel this as the continuous flow of time and as the aging process. It is because this process is at the same rate that light moves that the speed of light between the atoms will always be a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source. This can also explain why light is so beautiful when it strikes an object. It is because we are looking at a moment of pure creation of time and space. In this theory there is no universal time because the universe is made up of, of an infinite number of reference frames that have their own proper time relative to their momentum and position. Therefore we all have a unique position at the center of our own reference frame and can look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. When we look down into an atom we can see time-dependent quantum mechanics when the atoms bond together forming the beauty of their own symmetry and geometry. But when we zoom in on an individual atom we find time-independent quantum mechanics and there is no flow or arrow of time and all we have is the measurement problem. We have time dilation for an object accelerating towards the speed of light and gravitational time dilation around objects of great mass because the greater the momentum the shorter the wavelength and the higher the frequency. The frequency of an accelerating object will increase relative to the received frequency and is therefore reduced by the Lorentz factor. As the inward absorption and outward emission of electromagnetic radiation is reduced the duration of a clock cycle will increase for the accelerating object and time will be measured to run more slowly in that reference frame. We have Einstein's curvature of space-time because of the spherical shape of the quantum wave particle function. This is why we have pi in the equation representing the shape of the wave function in three-dimensional space-time. We also have pi in the equation for Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This is why pi is an irrational number and keeps on going forever, just like time. There is always the same amount of even and odd numbers in the continuous sequence of pi, just as it is if you continuously tossed a coin, you would create a sequence of numbers with the same amount of odd and even numbers, or heads and tails. The polarization of the light will be the same for the entire surface of the light sphere, creating quantum entanglement and the symmetry and geometry of space-time. In this theory, it is because the atoms can distort the geometry of space-time that we have electromagnetic fields. It is time variations within magnetic fields that act as a source for electric fields, and time varying electric fields is a source of the magnetic fields. When one field is changing in time, then a field of the other is induced. This will be relative to the position and momentum of the objects creating the time variation, the atoms themselves. The magnetic fields are always at right angles to the electric fields, forming the local space-time symmetry and geometry. This will spiral out, creating visual and mathem mathematical patterns of our universe. The greater the angle in space, the greater the curvature of space-time, the stronger the electromagnetic field at that point in space and at that moment in time. This can be seen as sparks of light associated with static electricity. The atoms will even distort the geometry of space-time, creating electrostatic discharge in the form of lightning. In this theory, it is only logical that the wonders of modern electronics are based on the paradoxes of quantum mechanics.